Okay, so ancient amulet tour. Let's make sure this works too. Let's make sure this transition is hot. I, I don't have the, the project view of VR downloaded right now. As far as I know. Okay, this seems to be working. But if, if you want to see the uh, Project Diva VR thing, um, if you head over to the Best Friends channel, there is a video of it, because we did, we did do it. So you can check that shit out. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Welcome to Time of Virtual Reality. So let me just remind myself here. Thank you, Unreal Engine. So. Okay, so, um, uh, just to get this out of the way, uh, I received a review code for this game from uh, an intermediary who was working for Time of Virtual Reality, the company who made this game. Um, I did not pay for this copy of the game, um, although in this game's case I would have paid for it if I hadn't received a code, uh, but I did not pay for this code. Uh, I received it for free upon, um, they offered it to me and I said, sure, I'll take it. Um, so take that as you will. Um, I was not paid or anything for this though. I was just received a code from the time of virtual realities intermediary company. So let's get them move controllers going. <laughs> Oh, I'm missing a hand. Oh, this controller's not on. <laughs> that would help. Cool, okay. So, trigger to draw the bow, front button to activate your skills. Let's go. This was actually a game I wanted to buy uh, as it was coming out, so I was very happy to review to get a review code. That's always my favorite when it's like, oh, I would have bought this game, but... I really love when companies do these logos in VR, and when you can see all around them and stuff. It's real nice. Actually, the aesthetic here is pretty well realized. Uh, single player. We got Desert Training and Empire. Let's go to training, I suppose. So there's supposedly like a bunch of characters and you switch between them and they all have different different weapons and abilities and shit like that. Yeah, this glass cabinet's super fucking nice. It's got all my girlfriend's teacup collection in it. Cause she's got that, cause she's like a grandma. Open heroes menu by pressing any of the face buttons. Man, you can tell. I need to get better English look for this. On the left hand. Ah, I see. Oh yeah, I'm a girl. The sound effects aren't too hot, but the actual feature itself works just fine. My beautiful nails, holy shit. Teleport is front. Okay, cool. Every hero has his or her unique skill. Before using skill needs to be charged via killing or hurting enemies. Dope. Give me something to shoot. Cool. There we go. Can't make the text go any faster. Charge it up. You scatter shot. That's uh, 
draw the bow, aim and lock on. Left hand, press move button. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's alright. Okay, defend these health bars. Defend your health bars as well as you can, hero. Defense crystals. Kill all enemies. Roger that. There's some compression on the audio that, well, I don't know why it's so compressed. There must have been a reason for it, but it's unfortunate. The actual, like, sound design is pretty nice, though. Nope. So I guess wave one's just gonna be this. It's unfortunate that you basically have to clip it into your face to, to aim it super well. I guess I'll take it. As for the actual aiming, it's, it, it's very responsive. Even though the bow itself is a little jittery looking, like, I feel like I'm actually aiming quite well and quite effortlessly. It's a boot! Guess that slows him down. enemies actually pose a threat to you ever, or if they only attack the crystals. It's kind of an important thing to know. Ah, shit. Fourth of July out here. You know what? It's actually the fifth of July, so I fucked that up. <laughs> How's the sound? Is it okay? So let's try an actual level now, I guess. Uh, single player. I did not know there's a multiplayer component, so that's a thing. How many maps we got? Two maps? Maybe that's two maps per area? I assume. Oh, let's go to normal. I assume this is like a uh, simplification of the layout. So, uh, coming soon, gunner, archer, mage, puppeteer? Coming soon. Okay, cool. Let's let's go with Gunner. Oh, actually different weapons and stuff. That's neat, I suppose. I like, um, how do I go back? Back. I like how they have like a really, really low poly model and you can just blatantly see how low poly it is. Can't get too much closer than that. And then when she comes in, it's like, yeah, here's the full one. Oh, this could, like, the, the actual gameplay is pretty fun. It could use a little bit of polish here and there, but gameplay is nice. Like, you know, like maybe segues into loading screen, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe darken the screen, like dim the screen out before just putting us into a load, but hey, nice. Okay, cool. That's pretty straightforward. I 
there's any manual reload button. Not as far as I can see. I'm curious as to how good the multiplayer component is in this. Because I could see it being kind of fun if you had a bunch of people all around the map doing shit. Big damage! I can barely see how much damage the enemy did to it. It's, uh, there's quite a bit of leeway there. Oh! Oh, you actually have to pull it back up. Neat. Let's do gun katas. They're super effective. bad once you, once you realize that uh, the flicking up is the reload thing. Unfortunately, there's no, there doesn't seem to be a way to reload. Yeah, you can switch hero. There doesn't seem to actually be a way to reload like, without emptying out. It's a bit of a bummer. explosive barrels that I haven't really had a chance to use at all. I don't know when I'll get to take advantage of them, but hey, they're there. Oh, there's a thing over there. I don't like that. I can't really see it from here. Is that a mini boss coming in or something? Oh, shit. Uh, over there.
That's MLG stuff right there. Those guys blow themselves up when they actually hit us. God, the amount of damage they're taking is still tiny. I wonder if on hard mode all it does is buff the amount of damage enemies do? Cause that feels... I mean, it feels like there needs to be more enemies too, frankly. Raising the enemy's health pools probably wouldn't be too fun. Cause I think the amount of enemies going up and maybe their damage output makes sense. Oops. Yeah, the enemy still would have to get through that one before even getting to the main one. Uh, over actually like starting to get to be something like in the last section there was actually a pretty decent amount of enemies so i guess let's back it up so we can really see everywhere i think i'd be a bit more aggressive with my usage of super because i'm just collecting a lot more magic while it's already full so the next time pop it right away. Like, I should have popped it right at the beginning. But it's not worth popping without, like, at least two enemies doing one.
Ya está. Okay, yeah, I gotta say the first waves are like a little bit dull. Perfect. That's the perfect score, you can't do better than that. Impeccable. Great. The first waves are actually like kind of a little bit dull, but once the fifth and sixth waves started picking up, that was pretty fun. Yeah, the aiming does get a little fucky when it demands that you aim, like, like off to the side. Um, like, let me check my... Yeah, my head's in the right spot. Like, when it wants me to aim over here, you see the tracking ball for the blue one gets really hard to see. It's so small. So, like, when... If the green controller is blocking the blue one, the aiming can get a little fucky. And same on the other side, too. Whenever this happens, it's like, this controller just gets, yeah. And there is multiplayer, so I don't know how that works. I don't know that there'll be anyone online, but hey. Oh, look, you can make ripples in the water. Nope. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Um, back. Single player. Desert still. And we've got the mage dude. I assume puppeteer you unlock by beating all the walls or something like that. He's kind of neat. I guess they're all kind of nice in that, like, kind of bland, let's make Le League of Legends-esque looking characters way. Like, they're all right. Not up to that standard, but they're all right. Boy, it's warm in here, though. Oh, look, I got my page. I'm the page master. Ah, oh, how does this work? Oh, you charge stuff up. Oh, and then you grab it and throw it? Oh, and then you charge with this hand. Oh, shit, look at that. How novel. That seems kind of hard to use. Okay, those are traps. This seems like genuinely pretty hard to use. Nope. My arm is gonna get tired. Oh my god. Oh, they have a little bit of an AoE on them though. Really hard to aim. <laughs> Can I charge this up? Oh, I missed my special shot. Perfect, the trap is amazing. Look at that, look at that effectiveness right there. Fuck, the trap's useless. Okay, we good? Oh boy! Oh boy, this is a character, all right. <laughs> the book looks kind of nice, though, with the with the, the physics on the pages. It's actually a pretty nice effect. Look, look at that. They don't close all the way, because that, that would just cause funkiness to happen, but... You, got, you do have to kind of throw high because they fall. I'm gonna throw one up there. Oh shit, you can't throw. Yeah, of course, underhand doesn't work because it's like the direction it's pointing in. True ancient emulator. It's not 
whiff this time. So do enemies who walk into that just take damage? Oh wow, that's actually really useful. You just walk the path for a little bit. Oh shit. Say, mission 2 starts off a lot more intense than the first one. Like, I was a little worried about the enemy intensity, but it seems like they got that aspect of it pretty well covered. I need that. Yeah, there we go. They put a thing on that one. The wizard fucking blocked up one of my things. It's full of jam. I can't use it. Fucking asshole. Look, he's blocking up this one. Baby character for babies. Fucking nice. Look at that. Actually tiresome to use this one. <laughs> oh, cool, nice effects. Oh shit, is there actually gonna be a boss? Damn boy. That's actually pretty cool. Platforms are blocked off. Oh, 
shit. Okay, so you're probably just gotta keep fighting way for these guys. It's just their spawn, their method of spawning is different now. Oh shit. That's pretty cool, actually. The sense of scale is really nice with that. Ah, that felt really cool, actually! <laughs> okay, the bosses are actually really cool. <laughs> I like how it slows down time a little when it gets close. Oh shit. Oh shit, did that, I just die? I think I just died. I think that's the cool, the respawn timer. Oh, you know what? When the screen went red, it's probably because I wasn't reacting fast enough. And it wasn't a, a slowdown, it was that's what happens when you take a hit. I see, I see, okay. So that was just me taking hits. Oh fuck, I missed. Yeah, so there I took a hit. That's really cool though. <laughs> like, boy, they made the bosses work. It's, it's hard to aim with this thing, though. <laughs> That's definitely my biggest trouble right now for hitting the boss, is like... With the guns, it would probably be really straightforward. now I've hit him with it. So maybe I'll just stick to normal spells. Oh, shit. I don't know what I was supposed to do that one. That's okay. We'll get back up. So obviously this timer is just so that it gives the enemies a chance to attack your shit while you're down. Yeah, the regular spell works perfectly. So don't use the charge spell against that, I guess. against that. Do you just stand completely out of the way? I'm not sure. That's okay. Like, it doesn't seem like there's any sort of life counter. It's just like, if you die too many times, the enemies are eventually going to destroy our crystals. Like, you did it again. I don't really know what to do again. That's fine, though. Yeah. Ugh. Is that it? Oh shit, we got we got one hit in. We got one hit in on the head. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was like a real state.
warp over. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, cool. Can't believe I have to buy that twice. It's such an obvious, like, tell. Feels like the v the VR version of the projectiles in here. excited to see like how many other bosses are in the game. I assume it's one per one per world type, which means there's two in the game right now and I think it said coming soon on the other levels. That's actually pretty cool. My face is really hot now though. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, Desert Empire and then two the Shogunate and, and Viking Land. So I assume there'll be four bosses all said and done. That's not bad, man. That's not bad. That's Ancient Amulator. Available, I think it's on PSVR and PC right now. Um, again, just put that out there. I did get a review code for this game. Did not buy it, but did actually have a good time. Um, well, well. The levels are a little bit slow until suddenly they're not slow. Like, um, when you get to like the fifth and sixth, Waves. Um, it starts getting actually pretty intense, and the boss battles are really enjoyable. It did really like that. I need to go back and look at the chat for when the boss came out because I'm, I'm curious. Because the boss was really cool when it popped up. That was like a really good effect. Oh yeah, everyone liked the boss. I like the boss. Genuinely, really enjoyable. Oh, yeah, that VR hair? Yeah, I need a brush. I need a fucking shower now. Christ. Yo, Anime Expo was great, so good. But yeah, so that's, uh... That's each emulator VR. We do have at least one other VR game that plays today. Let me just hook up my controller real quick so we can die on us. They're probably gonna die on us anyway, but they can't. We'll do what we can to save that. Yo, you know FromSoft is actually making a VR game now, right? Like, this has been confirmed for a little bit. And boy, am I excited for that. VR is cool, man. VR is cool. So that's Ancient Ambulance War. Legit pretty fun game. Oh yeah, Elgato did not like that. Oh, should I turn the game volume down a bit? Was that a bit too loud? Where did I get Peter Pan syndrome for the end of stream? I found it on YouTube. There's a guy who has the full Caligula OST up. I mean, I purchased the CD legitimately. Get that Elgato back in there. How's your spine from having to move your back so much? It's fine. It's, it's good. It's more activity than sitting in a chair, so, you know, it can't be bad for me, right? <laughs> I tend to think. 
Did I rip the Kirby news again? No, but I have it up for ripping. I specifically uploaded it, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 available. It's cool. I actually did quite enjoy that. I, I, I do think I'm gonna head back into that at some point after. Let's check that shit out. Let's check out the, check our Chivos. Here we get the plat, 0% plat rate. Play four heroes in one battle. Okay, yeah, so you, you can switch between the heroes. That was something I noticed that was available, but I wanted to, I wanted to try using every hero for a pretty legitimate amount of time. That mage was something. When I got to the mage and it was like, oh, I gotta charge up and then grab and then throw, like, he's, he's by far the most complex. I don't, like, I'd have to compare them directly to see how the damage stacked up. I feel like the archer was the most efficient. The gunner was, like, her damage was really low, but she could fire pretty much constantly, so... Yeah, I'm gonna stream Dead Cells, I think, next month or something. I do wanna stream it pretty thoroughly, but I, I feel like it's not done enough yet, so... Did I try any of the card games down at Artist Alley? Uh, no, I did not. I ain't got time and cons for card games, pretty much. To be ten enemies with one scatter shot. Fuck, that's a lot. Activate wooden men 430 times. We got quality Chinese writing. Just hire someone to localize. Hire like an English team to localize, not not English speaking Chinese people, because the quality of English is not high enough. This is this is why Sword Art Online had that terrible English translation when it came out on the Vita. It was abysmal. Come MVP and multiplayer. Look at spoilers. Spoilers, extinguish 22 torches. That's not too much of a spoiler. Blow up enemies, gunner skill, earn first kill in a multiplayer game. It's all pretty straightforward. Beat the bosses, finish all levels of Empire in any difficulty. Use mage's skill to kill 50 enemies in total. Yeah, this is all super straightforward stuff. Earn three stars in normal level 2 1 and 2 2. Oh, I must have got the first two of those already. Yeah, we got them. Yeah, it seems really straightforward. I'm definitely going to go back to this game. Um, without a doubt. That was really quite enjoyable. There's another VR title similar to it that I really enjoyed called Mortal Bliss.